hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. It is Tuesday evening for me. Uh, pretty uneventful week so far at work, guys. So I thought I'd get in here, film some content for our Patreon, film some content for YouTube, catch up on some of these snakes, wait, catch up on some of these snakes, weigh some of these snakes, and take care of some of the daily activities that's got to happen in here at Blue Line Morphs headquarters. Uh, before we get involved with today's video, which I'm pretty excited about, I'm not going to lie, we have about five or six females that might make the cut this season. So I kind of want to give you guys an inside scoop, an early sneak peek at some of these girls I think might actually be able to go maybe late this season for me uh, in a couple months, if not now. We're going to ultrasound all these girls we're talking about probably this weekend, give or take, figure out exactly where we stand and go from there. But if they go, it could be a very interesting season. With that being said, guys, we've got a couple things happening later this week. First and foremost, our good buddy Kevin over at Sugar Skull Serpents. He, um, his first clutch should be pipping maybe now or tomorrow. So we're trying to head over there, give him a hand cutting it, filming that. And you might recognize the room all that's going down in. With that being said, guys, we did pick up an absolute banger. Banger mail. That's going to be thrown right into the rotation starting this week. He's actually deep in shed right now. My nose is really itchy. He's actually deep in shed right now. So I'm hoping he sheds out by Saturday so we can show him off to you guys. Talk about how it kind of threw us for a loop here uh, and what this animal kind of means to us. And also, probably on Saturday, we're going to talk about a huge, huge, huge announcement uh, that we were partnering up with our buddy Charlie. So we'll go over that on Saturday, what the opportunity will be for everybody and how to go about that. But with that being said, guys, um, not a lot really going on here. Although this week we will be pulling our first clutch, or hopefully towards the end of the, this week, beginning of next week, our first blue-on-blue -blue crime right here with Eve, our het pied female, to our pastel banana anchi pie. Really happy about that. Um, a lot of stuff going to be happening in the next few weeks, but right now I'm kind of a little lull. That's not bad. Give me time to catch up. Our stranger, Leopard Clown, is eating like a beast guy and locking. All right? So we actually did throw him over to this girl right here. This is our Pastel Mojave OD Fire Girl. Really vibrant looking girl. Who's definitely going to rip Diesel's face off. But she's grown. She's about, I think she's at 14 millimeter Falcons last month. So we locked right away with her. Really looking forward to that. Uh, see if we can get some nice... Uh, Nice stranger head clown combo. Some OD in there, Mojave in there, and some fire, maybe a little pastel, right? Nothing wrong with a little pastel stranger. With that being said, guys, let's get this ladder the fuck out of the way. And let's talk about you know, let's talk about some of these females I think might be ready to go for us this season. So let's move our get out of the way, D. Let's move our table out of the way. And let's talk about this first female that's just about Oh, it's, oh, she shed. Perfect. Very nice. Very nice. So this girl, you got, oh, huge poop, too. And it's, and it's on her. Fantastic. Live action. All right, guys. So this girl, look at that, huh? Snakes. Am I right? So this girl right here, you guys might remember her. We hatched her out about, I would say, 18 months ago, give or take. Hold on. Hold on. Let's get some paper towels in my hands. We'll wipe her off. Diesel don't need to poop. It'll make you sick. This girl right here is that pastel and she pie from that female that passed away on us unexpectedly okay she's about 1500 grams guys if you guys don't remember she's the emoji one right it's got like that weird vampire look thing going it's actually completed down there but a little vampire thing with a little paradoxing right there let me come over here guys kind of chilling when she straightens out kind of looks like he's like a little sunglass smiley face something like that i don't know if i'm reaching here but at right there definitely looks like an emoji to me she's sitting at about 1500 grams guys Again, about 18 months old. We're going to take a look at her, and we're going to figure out if she's growing some follicles later in this week. And if she is, she might get a crack at the Titan there. Our Pastel OD YB Fire Leopard Pied. And I really want to continue on these genetics because I am kind of sentimental when it comes to some shit. And like I said, her, her, her mother did pass away on us. I kind of like just the way this female is, okay, with the emoji and that weird little paradoxing right there, guys. So hopefully she's ready to go. I'm not going to push her, but if she's growing follicles, she's at 10, 12 millimeter follicles, she's going to be able to dance with the devil, all right? We're going to throw a win with our Aussie Pie Boy. We'll see what happens. Maybe we can put Enchi in the mix with the Aussie Pie Boy himself. I love Enchi and Pied. Um, so we'll see what happens in regards to that, all right? Pretty happy with that. We'll see, though, okay? She wasn't, she's just pretty much off. Diesel, please don't eat that. Thanks. 
She is right online with this girl right here. Ooh, pre-lay shed. Pre-lay shed alert. Pastel spot nose clown to a stranger leopard clown. This girl was born two months before this girl over here, guys. And it's interesting how that girl that we just showed you, that pastel spot nose clown, is actually a very good eater. She's about to drop a clutch in 30 days. Well, this girl, we're kind of talking about it like, oh, maybe we'll breed her this year. Isn't it interesting how much two months can make a difference and how much a really good eater can make a difference, guys, all right? We're talking about a matter of thinking about pairing a snake up to dropping a clutch in a couple days, all right? So we're going to continue on this journey. But first, I'm going to slide over here. I'm going to grab my Windex. Go like that. And we're going to come over here, and I'll just clean this off. Live action. It's funny, the other day, actually, what, Monday, MJ was talking to me about, because you who edits your videos? I said, fucking nobody. Clearly, he did not watch my channel. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I went into that, kind of expected him to be a penis. He's not bad at all. He really isn't bad at all, all right? He's not. He actually was a pretty nice guy when I talked to him one-on-one. -on -one. All right, I can go into that another time, though. All right, let's move on. Let's talk about who else might be going this season. Let me talk about these two twins up here. Let me just pull them down straight off the bat. So we're going to do this. We're going to do a little fucking boop, boop. Let me grab them. This is an extra large shirt, guys. It might be a belly shirt on me. If it is, I apologize. But these two girls right here, you guys have seen them before. And these two girls make an absolute mess of their tanks. I'll tell you that. They're tubs. Look at that. You know what it is? I've been piling everything up on this side and leaving like almost no cocoa right there so I can regulate the temperatures better. And when they circle this, because I, I changed all this four days ago, guys, three days ago. When they circle, they kind of dump that in there. It kind of is what it is. We'll give a little scoop of scoop of. So these two females right here, this one I believe is a slightly bigger. She's about 16. This one's about 14 or 1500 grams. They are twins from our man, Mike from Redline Python, all the way from Cali. These are red striped double head clown pied females, guys. And ultimately, I checked them two months ago, no follicle growth, but they've been eating pretty consistently. And I'm looking to see if they actually start growing some follicles, right? I love red striping clown. Who the fuck doesn't? Never mind clown pies. And you probably follow my channel, you probably guessed who I'd like them to go to. It's this stud muffin right here. All right, that is our, that is our ODYB fire leopard pie head clown reproduced here that has finally figured it out and starting to lock like a motherfucker. And the good thing is, we got his mom, who's knocked up by him, gonna drop a clutch in about two weeks. And then we got this girl right here, who probably couldn't bull wrap that thing any tighter. Kill a leopard clown pie, all right, guys? So we're opening up some windows here when it comes to his breeding uh, expectations, because he is 14, 15 months old right now, and uh, he's starting to figure it out. So I would love for him to go to these girls. And again, guys, come on, ODYB, Red Stripe, Fire, Clown Pides. I don't know what that's going to look like, but it'll probably be pretty cool. So that is what we're going to see this week. With Diesel, when it comes to those two girls, let me put them back up. We'll continue this show. These next two girls are in the same project. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Stick with my Clown Pied stuff. Although we do have a lot of Clown Pied stuff that's pretty much up to size, I might be able to sneak in a few more. So these two girls right here, I'll show you the first one, then I'll show you probably my favorite that might go, and you guys are probably already, if you want to follow the channel, know who I'm talking about. So this girl right here, I actually picked this girl up the same time I picked up this girl right here, our Jigish Mojave Double Head Clown Pie. This girl right here is a blackhead pinstripe Double Head Clown Pie female. She's about two years old. She hit that 1,000 gram wall, guys, and stayed at that 1,000 gram wall for, I want to say, like seven months. She would take one or two uh, rats here or there, and that was it. But she's been pretty consistent over the last few weeks, actually month and a half, two months, to be honest with you. And she's probably right now, if I'll guesstimate, probably about 13, 1400 grams. But keep in mind, although she's a little smaller, she is a little older, a little more mature, okay, guys? I love blackhead. And like I, I've stressed before, I, I've fallen in love with pink clowns, guys. Fallen in love. I love that girl right there, okay? Anyway, I have also fallen in love with blackheads. That's why I got that girl growing up right there. A blackhead doublehead clown pod we produced this season. But if this girl can go this season, I would be absolutely ecstatic, okay? Because I think blackhead and clowns is amazing. I think blackhead and pinstripe makes a sick combo. And I think pinstripe clowns are fucking awesome. So why really think? Why not combine the two? We'll see what happens. It's kind of up in the air. I'm not sure who I want to pair her to. 
I don't know if I'll do just a clown pie, just a clown pie to increase the odds there, or do I want to just go for the gauntlet there and throw in our other boy. But I don't want to overwhelm him because he is only 15, 16 months old, but he is eating a 750, 750 gram. All right, so we'll see what happens. We're going to ultrasound her this week also. And last but not least, drumroll, we're going to talk about our boy, our clown pied, our pied head clown boy we just showed you. Talk about his sister. Ain't nobody my sister but me. All right. This girl right here, guys, was growing follicles the last I checked. This girl is about 15, 16 months old. Okay, she's an ODYB, believe also leopard pie pet clown. She is the, the offspring of our passed out clown pie. They're waiting on the eggs and the Aussie pie boy, all right? Absolute stunner of a female. And the last I checked, she was at like eight millimeter follicles. So I'm kind of up in the air what I want to do with her because I don't want to combine the two yellow bellies, right? She's got yellow belly, her brother's got yellow belly, but I don't want to create all ivory. So I'm thinking what I might do with this girl and her two sisters, okay? I'll show the two sisters off to you real quick as long as Diesel behaves himself. This is a pastel OD pie head clown. She's a little smaller, she's only about 900 grams. And then next door we got this girl, who I'm pretty sure is uh, all the genetics, I'll take them all out, fuck it. My channel, we got time, right guys? You guys ain't going nowhere. Plus, I think I'm probably talking to myself at this point. All right, so this girl right here, these are three sisters, guys, all right? ODYB Leopard, Pied Het Clown, Pastel OD Het Clown, and I believe this girl is everything. After talking to my buddy Matt Foley, a couple other people, I think she might be, maybe maybe not Leopard, but you know, we got the kind of the dorsal kind of showing right there. I think she's Super Pastel Fire, ODYB, <laughs> Leopard, Pied Het Clown. We're going to figure it out. What I think I might do with these three girls, these two girls next year, and this girl this year, is put them just to the clown pied male that we have. One, so they're at least all pied head clowns that we produce with a couple codons on top of it, but then more importantly, better chance of hitting what we got in here. And then on top of that, I'd like to prove out exactly what they are. Obviously, these two on the left, we're pretty sure we have a pretty good grasp of what they are. But the one girl all the way over there, we're not entirely sure what she could be. Could be a few different codoms in her. Hold on, guys. Come on, asshole. All right. Could be a couple different codoms uh, on top of all that. Talk about this girl right here. She might be an absolute stunner. So I kind of want to put our clown pie to her just so that we can actually see the male's not putting anything to her other than the clown and the pie. Therefore, all the codoms will come from her, okay? But we think that ODYB leopard pie head clown might be ready to go this season. So we'll see what happens. I'm really excited to ultrasound at the end of this week just because I got to find out where a lot of these girls stand. And we'll see if we're going to continue on a couple of these projects. Like I said, though, on Saturday, it might be Kev's video cutting his first clutch, ball python clutch, or it might be unveiling a huge announcement and a banger mail of what we're going to do with him. Um, but other than that, though, guys, that's all we got going on here at this week at Blue Line Morphs. We're going to continue on our pairings. We're going to document that pastel spot nose clown shed, which means in 30 days, we should get our third stranger clutch on the ground. And that clutch there should give us a shot at producing the stranger Batmans, okay? I love Batmans. Throw stranger on top of that. Pretty fucking cool in my book. So we haven't made a Batman here yet, okay? But this season, we could make stranger Batmans and redhead Batmans. So we'll see what happens, all right, guys? With our Batman girl over here that's locked in our path. Oh, she's sure everyone's fucking shedding. Well, it is 135% humidity in here, so. But this girl should be going from our pastel redhead hip clown boy. Got a chance of hitting some uh, redhead clowns there, all right, guys? So, with that being said, we'll see what Saturday's video is going to entail. I'm not sure yet. Either egg cutting at Kev's, a.k.a. you'll recognize it. It's the old Blue One Morse headquarters. Or unveiling a huge announcement, my boy Charlie. And a huge, huge male we just picked up. Hopefully, he sheds out by then. Other than that, though, guys, I'm absolutely stacked with what we got going on here. Love this hobby. Uh, if anything, last night on Trap Talk, uh, just talking to somebody, meeting somebody who I thought I'd probably not get along with. And I, I kind of did, all right? Um, this is how great this hobby is. Kind of is what it is, guys. With that being said, uh, I appreciate you watching. Be safe. Watch six.